In this tutorial, Tarek from M19 shows how to set up an advanced strategy for Amazon-sponsored products using M19. M19 is a platform that automates and optimizes all Amazon advertising in one place. If you want to try this tool yourself, sign up for M19 using the link below in the description of this video. And if you like tutorials like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Hello everybody, I'm uh, Tarek Berada from uh, M19, CEO of M19. M19 is a platform uh, that automates and optimizes all Amazon advertising in uh, one place. So in this video, I will be showing you how we can put in place a very advanced M19 strategy for sponsored products using M19 platform. So first, uh, before creating this strategy, I just want to say two words about M19. M19 is not only uh, doing the management and optimization part for Amazon advertising, but also is giving different views and dashboards to show you in an easy way what's happening on your Amazon account, either on the advertising side or on the profit analytics sites that we are releasing in the coming days. So either you have all the data globally, you can have it per product, each product has its own detailed data, and you can also have it at search term level data that will be also presented on another uh, video. So let's go back to how to use M19 to uh, manage your PPC. So an M19 strategy is something that we, you, decide, you design and define on M19 that will be creating on your behalf campaigns uh, on the advertising console that will be doing the keyword extraction, the, the competitor uh, ACs to target, et cetera, et cetera, on your behalf. The only thing that you need to do in M19 is create a strategy. Let me show you how easy it is uh, to do it. So to create a new strategy, you just need to give it a name. Let's start with the most basic one, all uh, promoted products, let's say. And we'll say, let's create a new group uh, for that, everything, all, let's call it all. And we do, we do want to do optimize on ACOS. And we say, okay, we want it to run at 40% ACOS maximum, next. Now I created the strategy. The only thing I need to do is to add the products. So I just select here all the products, add. That's it. So now I have a strategy where M19 will be promoting all my 11 products from this demo account and will be promoting them under 40% ACOS uh, target. Now I can let's move to something more advanced with M19. This is how uh, the main agencies and main uh, customers of M19 are uh, using it. Let's go back. To do that, instead of having a strategy for everything, we will have a strategy for a specific group of ASINs, either one parent ASIN or one category. Let's have a strategy for our best seller. Let's call it best seller strategy. Then we will create a new product group, best seller. And the best seller, we can afford to have a low ACOS target because conversion rate is high there, 25%. Next. So we need to add to specify what is our best seller. So this is the ASIN. I select it, add. So it's the uh, this the herbal tea. And now to do to have something um, super advanced, you can guide the AI. So instead of letting the AI discover and use all your previous data, you can guide it to structure differently uh, the campaigns that will be created for the, the best seller. So let's create um, a tactic. I will explain uh, after what is it. So create a new uh, segment. Let's call it um, high volume keywords. Next. So this tactic, I will just input to the AI the three or four main keywords. Let's call it herbal tea, herbal, herbal, Bio, bio, for example, add. Now I'm telling the AI for this specific high volume keywords that I know, I want you to manage them separately in a campaign. And I want you to be slightly more aggressive in terms of bidding on this specific keywords. But overall, I want you to maintain 25% ACOS. 
and they will add another um, tactic, create a new one. I will call it competitor attack. Next. And here also, I want to tell the AI, I want you also to separate this thing that I will specify here on a dedicated campaign. And here I will do it. So the keyword is, let's call it comp one, competitor one, competitor two, and you know their names. I will add them. And you can even here add some specific ASINs to target. Just saying the two, I want you to isolate them and put more focus on them. Add. So in this uh, tactic, you have the branded names or the names that you want to target as keywords, and you have also the products that you want. You can put uh, more than, uh, than one here. So you see, here in this strategy, you have three pieces. You have the high volume keywords. You see that it's, it, it does include two keywords. You have the competitor attack. It does include two keywords and one product async. And you have all the rest that is managed automatically on your behalf by M19. So now you have the strategy in place. M19 will be crunching all the data, creating the campaign, and each day changing uh, the bids. Then you can go to the overview part of M19, where you can see all what is running on M19. So you have each strategy uh, is displayed here. All product SP, for example, this strategy is running. You can see how it's performing over time. And you can see the detail per tactic. In case you have tactic, you can have detailed data per tactic. Here we don't see the strategies that we have just created. We will see them tomorrow when we will have data after that the campaigns that are, that are being created now. Now M19 is creating the campaigns I um, have just described in the strategy. So yeah, this is how easy it is to do either a global strategy that is easy, all products to promote, just specify the products you want to promote, specify an echo target, all the work that then is done on your behalf. If you want to do something more advanced, so you can have single ASIN strategy or group of ASIN strategy, like what I did here for the best seller strategy, I specified what is my target. And also I did input uh, more data to have different tactics for this best seller strategy. I hope that this uh, was clear enough, but if it's not, please feel free to uh, reach to us in the link below from uh, in the video. I hope this tutorial will help you to better understand how does M19 work. M19 is an artificial intelligence powered uh, advertising technology for sellers. And if you want to try it for yourself, sign up for M19 using the link in the description of this video. And now I would like to recommend you to watch more videos about 19 and to learn more how they work and what they can do for your Amazon business.